Now, the first question would be, what is woke ideology? This seems to confuse a lot of people on Twitter, especially on the left side. They just kind of seem to grasp the notion and they keep asking around, hopefully that someone will answer. But well, you come to my video, which is the right place and you will get educated and I won't even charge. I won't even give you student debt. So listen here, leftist. I will define what woke is for you. It's any ideology, usually of a Marxist nature, that requires two things. The first of, uh, of all is to separate the world into racial categories, usually by eyeballing it. So they don't even do genetics or anything. If it's white, it ain't right, pretty much, right? They, they separate the world into different races, and then they have like a pyramid of oppression. Some races are more oppressed than others. Now, they don't use the word inferior and superior, like the Nazis. No, the, the, the left is educated, right? Like the woke is enlightened, so they don't use those words. Instead, what they use is oppressor and oppressed. And then they have therefore. Therefore, the oppressed requires more, and the oppressor needs things taken away. Now, when it comes to the individual, again, they eyeball it. It doesn't matter if it's a white person living on the streets homeless. He is still the oppressor just by existing. Uh, meanwhile, if it's a person of color, it doesn't matter if it's Barack Obama, he is oppressed just by existing. And, and therefore, he deserves more, right? So this is the first thing that is required for the woke ideology. And the second thing is to hate the nation state. Is to absolutely despise the nation state because it is inherently evil. Uh, they believe in the conspiracy theory that usually uh, white people, they, they communicate with each other at a subconscious level. Like just by existing, they create white supremacy. I'm taking this from uh, the bestseller of Robin DiAngelo's book, White Fragility. It was uh, a, a very successful book, managed to sell a lot of copies. And she explains it, right? Like a white person, uh, even uh, if they don't think they're racist. No, in fact, actually, if they don't think they're racist, it actually proves that they're racist. Uh, and every white person is racist by default because that's how she is. So she assumes that everyone like her. Don't try to make sense. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing from the book. But anyway, right, uh, the important thing is that you cannot be patriotic if you're woke because the nation state is evil. So why would you support an evil state, right? It, it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, and when they started pushing wokeness in the military, I was completely bewildered because like, that is the only place where you wouldn't want wokeness because in the military, you want people to be highly patriotic. I mean, you're asking people to lay down their lives for their nation state. Right. And it has a flag. It's not it's not the Amazon flag. It's not the Jeff Bezos flag, which is very important. You know, I mean, the rainbow flag, especially the, the new one. Very interesting. The, the the original one, the one with the rainbow, that's free use. That's fair use. The, the author of it made it so that anyone can use it for free. Uh, the new one, the Marxist one with the black and the brown, uh, that's actually copyrighted. The more you know. No, it's a corporate flag, unironically, by all means and definition. Uh, but my point is that you wouldn't want the military uh, to have any other flag besides the, the nation flag. Because again, like you're asking people to lay down their lives. And also they have like a lot of military families. They have a culture where, again, they, they love their country so much that they're willing to send their children on the battlefront. Like that's uh, a lot of uh, devotion, right? But in the United States, no, like they, they started having all these uh, wokeness seminars where they lecture people, you know, it's not like you're black and you're brown, but uh, here you forget all that. You're all green, you're green Marines. No, 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 no. You're black, you're brown, you're white, and therefore, and the oppression and the systems and the systematic injustices throughout the time and blah, 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 and slavery. I, I, I mean, you know, like teaching your battle brothers that uh, your race matters and you, the, the other guy oppressed you or you're the oppressor of the other guy. I don't, I don't know if that raises the combat effectiveness. Uh, but yeah, they did that in the United States. Uh, they also lowered some of the uh, requirements for certain exercises in order to get more women in the military. There were many soldiers complaining because, you know, like women's body requires certain health care and... Apparently, when you're deployed in the middle of nowhere, it raises some issues, some problems, especially when there isn't enough space, right? Like the, the barracks that they, the makeshift barracks are small, and now you need to actually 
make that space even smaller because you need like women only spaces and men only spaces and you know maybe some people will require uh, their hormone therapy and their dilations and again the logistical aspects of it in other words you're complicating something that didn't need to be complicated to begin with but they did it uh and the results of it are very interesting that now here's an article which came out and it says that the uh, leaked documents show that the united states intelligence on israel plans to attack iran sources say uh now regardless of which side you're on the conflict from what i noticed like most americans would prefer if they didn't involve getting themselves involved in the middle east but you know the american government doesn't give a fuck like what the average american thinks it's, it's kind of interesting you know like the founding father said yeah you can declare war but you need congress approval Nowadays, I'm willing to bet that if you take a random American off the street and you're asking, can you tell me which uh, countries uh, the United States is at war with, they probably wouldn't know. But not only that, they're, they're just, sometimes they're informed. It's like uh, the mainstream media just tells them. And even when there's election, as, like, you don't have like a politician that says, yeah, I'm for the war or no, I'm against this war. Like, no, no, no. It's like, again, the machine just moves out of inertia at this point. But, but again, like, regardless of what you believe, uh, this is not okay, right? Uh, j just because, like, there are some people that are right now uh, on a certain side and, and they enjoy that this happened, you do realize that it can happen again in a case where you don't agree, you know? Um, but not only that, <clears throat> this is probably going to get Israel to stop sharing uh, attack secrets with the United States because, like, well, if you have a mole... It's a security risk, right? And this, again, happens under the Biden administration. After the Afghanistan withdrawal, after the stuff with Ukraine, and now they get this. I don't think it's the October surprise, because, again, like, most people wouldn't care. But still, apparently documents were leaked. Uh, October 15 and 16 uh, began circulating Friday after being posted on Telegram by an account called Middle Easter Spectator. Uh, they are marked uh, top secret and have markings indicated that they are made to be seen only by the U.S. and its five, I, uh, five Eyes allies, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the U.K. They describe the preparations Israel appears to be making for a strike against Iran. One of the documents which says it compiled by the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency says that it plans to involve Israel moving munitions around. Another document says it's sourced uh, to the National Security Agency, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're going to indoctrinate your military that uh, Western imperialism and capitalism and they're like a talking puppet for Karl Marx, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that this shit happens. I'm pretty sure that defendants of the war will be like, no, it's not woke, it's not, it's not, you don't know anything, V. You don't, I know everything, I was there, and it's not woke. Okay, it's not woke. Why, why are you still teaching it to the military? Huh? What is and why is it not allowed to be for speculation? Like, if I said incompetence immediately, yes, absolutely, that would be there with me. It's incompetence all the time. Um, but but no, I, I, I don't think it is. I, I generally don't think that Iran has the capability of uh, seducing people from the United States military in order to uh, betray their homeland. I find that a little bit sus. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I find it less likely. It's more likely that America themselves... Uh, have managed to indoctrinate its own soldiers into believing that, uh, yeah, nation-state, evil, horrible. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.